Of loose or tape needed on the good text board. It's totally true, um, except for any bot joints. So, wherever you have a bot joint which is not hung in groove, that needs to be taped or sealed or, you know, or somehow weather tight. <laughs> so, where are the bot joints here? In the valley. We have it in the valley. Yeah. We have it at the Dharma, yeah. Yeah. Dharma, yeah. and around the chimney. <coughs> And what we do there is we prime it. So there is a, there's a primer, and again, you can get the primer from Gutex, or you can use the Proclima primer. The Proclima primer has been tested on all wood fiber boards on the market, and um, it's, it works. So you would actually prime your, you prime your uh, wood fiber board first, And um, like again, you could tape right into the wet primer. You don't really have drying time. You don't have to let it set or wait. So you can you can tape straight into it. I find it more practical, or I prefer to to wait a little bit until it becomes sticky. It just makes the whole taping a little bit easier. So. We prime those areas, and um, um, to show a little bit about the primer, I prepared two samples here uh, this morning, and I taped it at, lun at around lunchtime, uh, just to show just to show how the tape sticks to the to the board, and um, it's primed. I applied the primer and just taped onto it. And you can see that when you take off, it actually takes off the first layer of the board. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what you want. You don't want the, 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 the glue to break or to come off, but it actually goes into the board. And, uh, you know, penetrates fairly deep. Um, if you want to play around with it, it is really, really sticky. Be careful, don't have it on your, on your suit or your shirt or anything. And just here I've done, a, done another one. And uh, there the tape is this, is, this is, this is a bit of a board which is not primed. So the tape does stick, but you know, it takes off a couple of fibers, but it's really only when it hits the the primer mm -hmm. oh. that it you know that comes off that it takes off the mm -hmm. the insect. That's what you want. Now the, the tape that you would you that you would typically use on the roof is the white tape. It's a hundred fifty mil white uh, version of the Vana, and um, just cut off the length here. And it has one feature which is very helpful. It has two sections. So what I like to do is, oh, you know, what really is the only logical thing to do is take that off. Now you have a good straight, easy line. And move around here. Put the tape on. Turn the window. Turn the window. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the knife and the yoke is what you always want to have in your pocket. Same again, give it a good squeeze here. For the corners, then, all right, sorry, actually, peel off the second run. Right. 
and the what would you call it? The press fixes. It's actually it's a good help to get things sharp into the corner here as well. You know, I always kind of make sure that you have a really into the corner. And um, <coughs> here then, there are different variations on how to cut it. In this case, I don't want to tape it over the face. You know, I want to stay at around this line, so I just cut it down here a bit and bring it over. Cut it down here then. So. And if, if I'm not happy with the way this corner is done, you can always use an additional little piece, bring it over again. That's 100% wind tight, water tight, everything. What we, oh yeah, and then you have that detail again. What we don't show here is the roof light. We don't have a roof light. It's actually, uh, I, would like, I would like to have a roof light somewhere here. Um, <coughs> have you ever seen a roof light taped to the breathable roofing membrane? So you normally cut them open, put them in, and you always have the four corners completely open. In case any water gets on the membrane, down, down the roof, in the best case you have this little, you know, there's a little um, bead on top of the window, guiding the water away from it, but the corners are still exposed. You could get quite a lot of water in there before you actually realize it is leaking. Uh, again, uh, I tape all my roof lights. So we put them in, lap it up, and we do, do the exact same detail as shown here, just to make sure you have a watertight, wind tight layer. <coughs>